this year I feel I've exposed myself a lot about Holocaust and human rights and I've had really good teachers to usher me along the way and really guide me through it in a proper good manner so that I'm not completely destroyed by it. And I feel that doing this, um, doing this program has, really, has been a really great way to kind of close out my year and bringing me here has been a really great experience so I can see everything and do everything. But I feel that um, learning these things and exposing these things, just being able to, I'm so sorry, I'm trying to organize my words and it's, there's so many thoughts in my head right now, it's insane. But I feel that exposing yourself to these kinds of things and learning how hate can turn into something so strong and so overpowering that you can't even, you can't even see where you are in it anymore. You don't even see it as hate. It, it, it just, it became a way of life and it becomes a way of life. And something like that just, it can never happen again. I don't even know how it could happen and learning these things and being there and seeing how um, he, like Hitler used propaganda and his speeches of hate and almost brainwashing everyone into believing what he believed. It's just, I just, I can't imagine, I can't fathom how something like that would happen and I feel, I was so enraged and I just, it's like I wanted to step back in time and just stop everything and be able to say something and be that uprising voice because no one did it and no one kind of knew how, no one stopped, tried to stop that train, no one tried to do anything and it's just, seeing that sort of injustice even today in such a small way in the hall of someone being pushed, someone being bullied, some bad name being, being said about someone, it's just, why does no one stop? You, pe everyone has had someone say something bad against them, yet people turn around and say the same thing again. You know how it feels, why would you continue to do it? Why would you continue that process of hate, that, that process of being negative? It's just, it's something that I've never been able to understand. So I feel that doing this program, it's really been able to, to make it more real. It's, it's not just something that I've been learning about. It's not just something that's been spoken to me or that I've been learning. It's, it's real. I've seen it. I've seen the pictures. I've seen the videos. I've seen everything. It's all come to life, and it's such a better way to be able to learn something when it's experienced and not just seen in words or in videos in the classroom. I've actually I've walked through it. I've seen it, I've felt it, I've experienced the emotional connection between the artifacts in that museum to myself. It's, it's something that I'll never forget and it's something that I want to bring back for everyone because everyone needs to learn that hate just, it can't continue. It's not something that should be around. It's just, it's, it's just unfathomable how people can hate. I, I'm going to try to before anyone can stop hating and before I can try to teach anyone that, I believe that you have to make everyone around you happy. So I, I honestly believe in changing the world with a smile, a simple smile, a simple handshake. And once you break down that barrier and your, your friends in that small, simple way of sharing a smile in the hallway, um, having a high five with someone, just that breaking down that small barrier, you're able to connect with them. And even if I stop someone in the hall and say, oh, I'm sorry for doing this, I apologize. I feel as though it would influence that person to be, well, why do I say this about someone? Maybe I should apologize too. And maybe it doesn't even have to be teaching about the Holocaust or teaching about genocides per se. I think it needs to gradually get to that point. But I believe before you can get there, people have to be able to see that injustices happen in such a small way all around you you have to stop those injustices before you can move on to the big total ones. And maybe stopping those small injustices will stop the big ones. I mean, it's all connected. That's great. Thank, Thank you. you very much.